Welcome. I'm Marilyn McFarland, the Senior Director of Principia Alumni and Field Relations. We are so grateful that you've joined us for this special event, A Celebration of Love, Concert and Readings with Dr. Ashley Gerritsen Gelber, Dr. Marie Juriet Beamish, and guest performer, Dr. Lindsay Gerritsen. The concert will uplift and inspire as you hear reminders of love's omnipotence. We hope that you will join us for our upcoming events. We're excited for our May book club pick, The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes, and hope that you can join us for this book discussion on Tuesday, May 25th. In June, we will be having an incredible offering of Principia Lifelong Learning courses as part of the mini summer session online. From Bible to music and lots more, it will be a full month of wonderful learning and community including part two of the Ode to Joy lecture series, A Celebration of Beethoven, with one of today's performers, Dr. Marie Juriet Beamish. Stay tuned for lots more information about our mini summer session online. We are so grateful to Ashley, Marie, and Lindsay for the lovely performance today. And beyond their many accomplishments, we have been blessed to have them performed through the years as part of the Principia Lifelong Learning Programs, including summer session and trips. We hope that you'll join us for that virtual concert in June with Dr. Juriet Beamish and join her on a cruise next April to see Japan in bloom. You can learn more about that cruise at principia.edu slash trips. Thank you again for joining us today and enjoy the program and know that you are a beloved and cherished member of our Principia family. We now head to Florida with Dr. Marie Juriet Beamish. Hello, my name is Dr. Marie Juriet Beamish and I welcome you here to our home in Jensen Beach, Florida. Today we are going to celebrate love through music and text. As many of you know, my family and I have been performing for Principia audiences for over 35 years. During this last year, my family and I have continued to perform and share our music, albeit in a different kind of way. Some of you may have heard some of our earlier concerts recorded for Principia Lifelong Learning. In Florida, our monthly concerts here have continued without interruption, either for live stream or pre-recorded on YouTube, very much like this program that you are about to hear. It is always a special joy for me to perform with my daughters over the last many decades. It is a great blessing that we still gather together regularly since daughters Ashley and Lindsay both live here on the east coast of Florida. The program we are about to share with you was first recorded in February 2021 to celebrate love on the occasion of Valentine's Day. This was for Sunset Concerts at the Gallery, a local concert series at our Martin County Arts Foundation. It is music that Ashley and I have performed together for many years, and it is filled with our love for some of the most beautiful and inspired melodies of all time. What is extra special about this program for Principia is that we have woven into the concert favorite citations on the theme of love. And I'm sure that a lot of these will be very familiar to most of you. Thinking about all of our fellow man throughout the enormous challenges of this past year, there is no topic more appropriate and urgent for each of us than to allow our hearts to burn with the warmth of love for our brothers and sisters worldwide. We are all united as one by the love that God has for each of his children as we demonstrate the words of Mary Baker Eddy from Science and Health. 
Divine love always has met and always will meet every human need. The format of the concert is that first I will share favorite texts on the theme of love, followed by a piece performed by Ashley Gerritsen Gelber on the cello that musically enhances the meaning of the text. It will allow you time to reflect on the text while enjoying the beautiful sounds of the cello. So this is our special gift from us to you on the theme of love. Now, let's begin. The citations that I have selected for today all come from familiar sources to all of you. They come from the Bible, Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy, Prose Works by Mary Baker Eddy, our Christian Science Hymnal, as well as texts for popular song. You can see the theme of love enacted on our piano here. This is me with my husband, Bill Beamish, and here is my daughter, Ashley, with her recently married husband, Derek Gelber. They got married on September 15th, all by themselves in Maine. The first citation on the theme of love is from the Christian Science Hymnal, hymn number 179. Very familiar and I'm sure recognized by most of you. The text is by Margaret Morrison. Love one another, word of revelation. Love frees from error's thrall. Love is liberation. Love's way the master trod. He that loves shall walk with God. Love is the royal way. Love knows no evil, neither shade of sadness. Love casts out every fear, lifts the heart to gladness. Love heals our every ill, all the law does love fulfill. Love is our answered prayer. Love now is dawning over every nation, showing true brotherhood, publishing salvation. Love bids all discord cease, conquering hate, enthroning peace. Love, love alone is power. We are going to begin the program with one of Mendelssohn's Songs Without Words. Mendelssohn is one of the great romantic composers of the 19th century, and this piece is arranged for cello and piano by Julian Weber, brother of Andrew Lloyd Weber. As with all of Mendelssohn's Songs Without Words, this is an expression of love. Enjoy this performance by Dr. Ashley Gerritsen Gelber.
Mrs. Eddy makes reference to the fact that maternal love is one of the purest and lasting loves of all. We have a hymn entitled, Like as a Mother. It is hymn number 174 by Maria Louise Baum. This text is set to another of Felix Mendelssohn's Songs Without Word, which I will play for you in a moment. The text of the song epitomizes the mother love and the promise of comfort for all. Like as a mother, God comforteth his children. Comfort is calm that bids all tumult cease. Comfort is hope and courage for endeavor. Comfort is love whose home abides in peace. Love is true solace and giveth joy for sorrow. Oh, in that light, all earthly loss is gain. Joy must endure. Love's giving is forever. Life is of God, whose radiance cannot wane. O oh, holy presence that stills all our demanding, O oh, love of God that needs but to be known, heaven is at hand when thy pure touch persuades us. Comfort of God that seeks and finds his own. The Songs Without Words by the great romantic composer Felix Mendelssohn are gems of the piano repertoire. They are known as character pieces. So each of these songs has a message. It is up to you to determine what that message is. One of our hymns is derived from the melody of one of these songs without words. There are over 50 of them. A tremendous collection, a true treasure trove of small character pieces. This is the one that sounds like, like as a mother.
Now I would like to share with you two of my favorite Bible passages on the theme of love. One of them is frequently heard at weddings, and that one is 1 Corinthians 13. And the other one is heard to conclude every one of our church services on Sunday. I'm going to read, first of all, from the New King James Version. And this is all about the greatest gift of love. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy, in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know, just as I am also known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And then at the end of the Sunday service, now from the King James Version of the Bible. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. The artist on today's program is cellist Ashley Gerritsen Gelber. She is familiar to many of you, having grown up in a musical family and been performing on the cello since age five. Here in Florida, Ashley is principal cello of the Atlantic Classical Orchestra, the Miami City Ballet Orchestra, and the New Deco Ensemble. In addition to performing as a soloist, she also performs as a chamber musician. I just want to mention something about her. 
He has collaborated with the Chicago Symphony, the Boston Symphony, the Del Sol Quartet, members of the Juilliard String Quartet, and the Volz Quartet. She also, while in Florida, completed her doctorate at the University of Miami Frost School of Music. Her festivals include Tanglewood, Knizel Hall, and Yellow Barn, where she worked with artists such as Mitislav Rostropovich, Janos Starker, Lynn Harrell, and the Vermeer and Young Quartets. She has served also as principal cello of the Chicago Civic Orchestra and the Miami Symphony. Following along on the theme of love, the next piece on the program is entitled Arioso by the great Baroque composer, Johann Sebastian Bach. Well, Bach is not a romantic composer. However, this piece frequently appears as wedding music as it was for a wedding I played just last weekend. This is Bach's Arioso. We will perform it as arranged by Julian Weber. citations are both written by Mary Baker Eddy, the discoverer and founder of Christian Science. The first one is from her chapter on marriage in Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures. She writes, marriage is the legal and moral provision for generation among humankind. Until the spiritual creation is discerned intact, is apprehended and understood, and his kingdom is come, as in the vision of the apocalypse, where the corporeal sense of creation was cast out and its spiritual sense was revealed from heaven, marriage will continue 
subject to such moral regulations as will secure increasing virtue. Kindred tastes, motives, and aspirations are necessary to the formation of a happy and permanent companionship. The beautiful in character is also the good, welding indissolubly the links of affection. A mother's affection cannot be weaned from her child because the mother love includes purity and constancy, both of which are immortal. Therefore, maternal affection lives on under whatever difficulties. And then she writes in miscellaneous writings, an article entitled Love. What a word, I am in awe before it. Over what worlds on worlds it hath range and is sovereign, the underived, the incomparable, the infinite all of good, the alone God is love. Love is not something put upon a shelf to be taken down on rare occasions with sugar tongs and laid on a rose leaf. I make strong demands on love, call for active witnesses to prove it, and noble sacrifices and grand achievements as its results. Unless these appear, I cast aside the word as a sham and counterfeit, having no ring of the true metal. Love cannot be a mere abstraction or goodness without activity and power. As a human quality, the glorious significance of affection is more than words. It is the tender, unselfish deed done in secret, the silent, ceaseless prayer, the self-forgetful heart that overflows, the veiled form stealing on an errand of mercy out of a side door, the little feet tripping along the sidewalk, the gentle hand opening the door that towards toward want and woe, sickness and sorrow, and thus lighting the dark places of earth. Love from Miscellaneous Writings by Mary Baker Eddy. The next piece we're going to perform is The Sicilian by Maria Teresa von Paradis. You may recall this being played at the royal wedding a couple years ago by the young prodigy cellist Sheku Kanamason. I hope you enjoy it.
Mary Baker Eddy was also a poet. And seven of our hymns are set to the poetry of Mary Baker Eddy. One appropriate for the occasion is entitled simply love. We know that in our hymnal with several different settings, starting with hymn number 30. The text is, Brood o'er us with thy sheltering wing, neath which our spirits blend like brother birds that soar and sing, and on the same branch bend. The arrow that doth wound the dove darts not from those who watch and love. If thou the bending reed wouldst break by thought or word unkind, pray that his spirit you partake, who loved and healed mankind. Seek holy thoughts and heavenly strain that make men one in love remain. Learn too that wisdom's rod is given for faith to kiss and know that greetings glorious from high heaven whence joy supernal flow come from that love divinely near which chastens pride and earth-born fear through God who gave that word of might which swelled creation's lay. Let there be light, and there was light. What chased the clouds away? Twas love whose finger traced aloud a bow of promise on the cloud. Thou to whose power our hope we give, free us from human strife. Fed by thy love divine we live, for love alone is life. And life most sweet, as heart to heart, speaks kindly when we meet and part. The next piece on the program is entitled Vocalese by the great Russian romantic Sergei Rachmaninoff. Vocalese is sort of like a song without words in that the music itself and the melody itself is filled with passion, filled with love. This is one of the most gorgeous and heartfelt expressions of love in the entire repertoire of music. You will hear it either by a singer, a clarinetist, a violinist, an orchestra, brass instruments, but nothing is more beautiful than when we hear the expression of the vocalese on the cello. And here is Ashley performing Vocalese by Rachmaninoff.
Another of Mrs. Eddy's poems that is set to hymnal music is her famous Mother's Evening Prayer, otherwise known as O Gentle Presence. There are several settings of this poetry to music, beginning with hymn number 207 in the Christian Science Hymnal. The text of Mother's Evening Prayer is, O oh, gentle presence, peace and joy and power. O oh, life divine that owns each waiting hour. Thou love that guards the nestling's faltering flight, keep thou my child on upward wing tonight. Love is our refuge. Only with mine eye can I behold the snare, the pit, the fall. His habitation high is here and nigh. His arm encircles me and mine and all. O oh, make me glad for every scalding tear, for hope deferred, in gratitude disdain. Wait and love more for every hate and fear no ill since God is good and loss is gain. Beneath the shadow of his mighty wing, in that sweet secret of the narrow way, seeking and finding with the angels sing. Lo, I am with you always. Watch and pray. No snare, no valor, pestilence or pain. No night drops down upon the troubled breast. When heaven's after smile, earth's teardrops gain and mother finds her home and heavenly rest. We all can have the image of those wonderful, comforting arms of love. The next piece on the program is about a swan who is very simply gliding on water, not unlike the ducks who have taken up residence right out here in our pool. They are so trusting and so simple and so beautiful in their message of peace. Mother's Evening Prayer. We are so glad that you are here with us for the concert today. And now we go from the deep expression of personal love that we feel with the vocalies of Rachmaninoff to the simplicity of the swan just enjoying simple love as he sails on the lake or the river. So here is the swan by Camille Saint-Saëns from Carnival of the Animals. Thank you. 
Because the next piece on the program is the slow movement from Chopin's Sonata for Cello and Piano, I was trying to think of a hymn that gives us the context for this gorgeous transcendent music. There are a few pieces in the repertoire that take us to the divine heights. The slow movement of the Chopin Sonata is certainly one of those. So I have chosen hymn number 148 from the Christian Science Hymnal. The text is by Anna Waring, and of course, this is a favorite hymn to all. In heavenly love abiding, no change my heart shall feel, and safe is such confiding, for nothing changes here. The storm may roar without me, my heart may low be laid, but God is round about me, and can I be dismayed? Wherever he may guide me, no want shall turn me back. My shepherd is beside me, and nothing can I lack. His wisdom ever waketh, his sight is never dim. He knows the way he taketh, and I will walk with him. Green pastures are before me, which yet I have not seen. Bright skies will soon be o'er me, where darkest clouds have been. My hope I cannot measure, my path in life is free. My Father has my treasure, and he will walk with me. Hymn 148. So far on the concert, you have heard the music of Felix Mendelssohn, Camille Saint-Saëns, Johann Sebastian Bach, Maria Theresia von Paradis, and Rachmaninoff. We can't do a program on the theme of love without performing with you for you a piece by the great Frédéric Chopin, the Polish composer who spent most of his career in Paris. He wrote most of his pieces for solo piano, which is quite unusual for a composer. He waited until the end of his life to compose this magnificent sonata for cello and piano. It is a standard piece in the sense that it has four movements. The slow movement, which is what we are going to play for you now, is absolutely supremely beautiful. It was about 10 years ago that our family produced a CD entitled Our Favorite Chopin. On this CD, Ashley and I perform it. On today's program, Ashley is going to be joined by her sister, Lindsay Gerritsen, performing this gorgeous Largo slow movement from the cello sonata by the great Frederick Chopin. We hope you share our love for this beautiful piece.
A favorite citation of mine that I pray each day, I am now going to share with you because it is so appropriate for the topic of celebrating love. Mrs. Eddy gives us the spiritual interpretation of the 23rd Psalm by substituting the word divine love or love instead of the word the Lord. It gives very special meaning to Psalm 23. This is on page 578 of Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy. Divine love is my shepherd, I shall not want. Love maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Love leadeth me beside the still waters. Love restoreth my soul, spiritual sense. Love leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for love is with me. Love's rod and love's staff, they comfort me. Love prepareth a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Love anointeth my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house, the consciousness of love forever. We've already heard one piece by the French composer Camille Saint-Saëns, and now we are going to perform Allegro Appassionato, which means very fast, joyous, and filled with passion. This is one of the most exciting pieces for cello and piano, Allegro Appassionato.
citation is the text from a much beloved song. It is called Edelweiss. The melody is incredibly inspired and speaks directly heart to heart. Everyone knows that this is not really an Austrian tune. However, it is synonymous with the sound of music and the love that comes to life and fruition throughout the sound of music between the captain and Maria von Trapp. As the sound of music proceeds and ultimately to the end, it's the last music we hear as the family escapes from the Nazis. If we take the words homeland and make it our homeland, that means our huge homeland of all mankind. It takes it to an even higher level. And when you hear Ashley play Edelweiss, I'm sure that you will feel the touch of the divine and the special touch of divine love that transforms each of us. The text of the song is simply about a flower. Edelweiss. Edelweiss, every morning you greet me, small and white, clean and bright. You look happy to meet me. Blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow, bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever small and white, clean and bright. You look happy to meet me. Blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow. Bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my home forever. And may the music and words you have heard today bless you forever as well. Thank you for being with us today. Lots of love to each of you.